Hello everyone. I want to welcome you to another episode with Ranger Jim. And I wanted to share with you a build out that I did on a toy hauler a camper conversion a few years back. It's worked very well for me. What I did is I bought this toy hauler that was just a basic shell, nothing on the inside. And I bought a secondary trailer, uh, an older trailer, for about $400. So the total cost was under $2,000 for this build out. You can see I have a rear entry door there as well as a side entry door. And I'm going to talk with you about some of the features that I put into this build out. First of all, I wanted to show you some of the parts that I included. You can see the older style window there from the older trailer as well as the door, which was a little bit wider. And you can see the front end of the trailer there. I have made some uh, adaptations uh, with the rock guard and the front window as well as the propane tanks, the spare tire. And if you take a closer look here, you can see the hot water heater as well as the gray water outlet and the fresh water intake. In addition to that, I decided to add a second trailer jack that has a double wheel on it. This trailer is a little bit heavy uh, in order to move around. And so this is a view from the front of the trailer, as you can see. I want to take a closer look at that window there that I installed. Again, all of this equipment was from the older trailer that I used. I used a smaller trailer window with the rock guard and I'll tell you why when we get inside. I needed the space actually inside. Here's another view of the hot water heater area as well as the gray water discharge and the fresh water intake. I also added a double propane tank on the front with the cover there and the spare tire was mounted on the frame in the front. Both of these were real handy in that location. And this is a closer look at the jack, the gray water discharge and the fresh water intake along with the hot water tank which is about a five gallon hot water tank. Now it's really nice to have this drop down back door for access. I mostly was going to use it for utility purposes as well as for camping and it was sturdy enough in order to handle light loads but you'd have to brace it if you were going to put any type of heavy equipment in there. I was also able to retrieve the electrical from the old trailer and I mounted that on the outside in the front of the trailer. As you can see, the inside of the trailer here needed to be protected from the bugs, and so I installed this bug screen, which is uh, held together by magnets, makes it real nice getting in and out of the back of the trailer. Now this is the utility portion of the trailer. You can see that I kept the area open in order to make it accessible for hauling and storing things, as well as uh, make it versatile enough for camping if I wanted to use it in that way. And you can see here on the side, the, I installed these drop down bunks. Uh, they're just held up with one latch and uh, the mattress is stored behind. So there's a left bunk and a right bunk with the drop down supports on it made it real easy to put these down, put them back up, and to store the mattresses along with it. Now, as we look forward, we see the kitchen area, and I'll take a closer look with you at that kitchen area and the things that uh, I included from the older trailer that I had bought. I also installed an under-the-counter remote control CD player with uh, AM, FM radio in it. You can see the older style windows here on the sides. I like the window light coming in and, and you can see the uh, bunks over the top, the storage cabinets there. These all came from the older trailer. Now this uh, gives you an idea of one person sleeping in there with a bunk brought down. And you can see that there's still plenty of room there uh, to move about within the trailer itself. And there was under bunk storage that was available too. Here are some of the components of the kitchen area. I like that mirror uh, because it does give you the option of seeing more behind you as you're facing forward. But I also have that smaller window as you can see. I needed the smaller window so that I had uh, access to some of the uh, wall space for other things that I wanted to put into the kitchen area. On the left hand side you can see the ice box. The center has the burners with the oven and the right side there of course has the double sink. Now on the ice box, what I did is I took the refrigerator from the old trailer and I pulled the compressor out of it, re-insulated it with heavier insulation and made it an ice box. Now ice in that box will last a good three days. There was a fold-up table that was available and I put it there just for extra space if we wanted it. 
and that also came from the old trailer. Below the refrigerator or the ice box is where I have the batteries and the electrical power. I also have a solar panel on top of the trailer and so it keeps the two 12-volt uh, batteries uh, charged up pretty well. And I just put in a temporary coffee pot and grill and, and toaster on top of the ice box there. You can see here is the three burner stove. Again, this all came from the old trailer, the three burner stove and the oven, as well as the double sink area there. Uh, all of these features came from the old trailer. Now, if you take a look at the ceiling there, you can see one of the two ceiling vents. Those were already installed. I didn't have to install those, which makes it kind of nice for ventilation circulation. You can also see the lights there above the sink. The round light there came from the old trailer, and that's a uh, 110 volt. And the other two lights there are uh, 12 volt lights. It gives uh, plenty of light over the sink area, which is really nice. Once again, you can see the smaller window there. We're going to take now a closer look at the cabinets uh, underneath. On the left hand side underneath the ice box, again is where I stored the batteries as well as the electrical for the trailer. And underneath the oven stove was where I stored the porta potty and the My Buddy heater. Uh, it was hooked directly into the propane tanks. Uh, I didn't have to do anything except turn a valve to turn it on. Underneath the sink, there was some storage for uh, silverware and things like that, as well as a hot water tank for the trailer. The far right, there was a temporary gray water hook up there if I wanted to use it inside, but I found most of the time I used that outside, just pulled that tank, it was on rollers, and put it under the gray water discharge on the outside. The uh, floor in the kitchen area was linoleum, but I did throw some uh, rugs over the top of it just to make it a little bit warmer in colder climate, and they were easy enough to shake out. I did have the linoleum on the floor. Once again, this is an overview of the inside of the trailer with one bunk set up. Again, you can see the area was nicely open and accessible. This is the setup with the two bunks down so that you could sleep two people uh, comfortably separately. And there was a nice way of accessing from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer or vice versa, even with the two bunks down. I did have an extension board that I could place between the two bunks and then we could make bed into a queen size bed. So I just uh, wanted to thank you for taking a moment to look at this build out. It was a toy hauler camper conversion. Once again, the original trailer was around $1,300. It was built extra tall. It was about six and a half feet tall on the inside uh, to accommodate taller people, which was really nice. A little bit harder pulling down the highway, but it did pull nicely too. But the uh, Additional trailer that I bought was an old used trailer that was able to salvage a lot of the parts out of that for about $400. So the total build out on this was under $2,000. And we, uh, we traveled across the United States with it and on the Trans-Canadian Highway uh, all the way back to the West Coast. So it held up really well under all of that travel. We've had a lot of uh, family vacations with it and uh, traveled over to the coast of California been able to do a lot of different type of camping with the trailer as well as to use it for utility purposes. I've hauled woods, I've hauled hot water heaters, there's all kinds of things that I've hauled in this and it was nice, nice and versatile for us to be able to use over the many years. Well I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to uh, observe this uh, toy hauler camper conversion build out and if you had any questions uh, please drop me a line if you like the channel please go ahead and subscribe thank you bye now